Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Anajma Club Chairman Isa Hassan Al Ghattan, the Board of Directors, the Technical and Administrative Staff, and the team players on the occasion of winning His Majesty the King's Football Cup 2017 18 in the final match, which was held last night at the national stadium between Al Najma and Al Muharraq teams. His Majesty the King hailed the team's achievements in the championship, wishing them further success. He lauded the sportsmanship of the two teams, which contributed to the success of the cup final. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Al-Najma Club Chairman Isa Al Qattan, board members, management team and players on winning the 2017-18 His Majesty the King's Football Cup after demonstrating a remarkable team effort to beat Muharraq 6-5 in penalties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the technical and administrative efforts exerted by a Najma club to win the championship, wishing them more success to come. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to a Najma club chairman Isa Al Qattan, board members, management team and players on winning the 2017-18 His Majesty the King's Football Cup after beating Muharraq in penalties 6-5. His Royal Highness commended the technical and administrative efforts exerted by Najma to win the competition, wishing them more success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the Crown Prince of Dubai. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum upon his arrival to Bahrain to attend the 16th Endurance Cup of His Majesty the King. The event will be sponsored by GFH Financial Group and will commence tomorrow at 7 a.m. His Highness welcomed the Crown Prince of Dubai to Bahrain affirming the importance of the participation of UAE riders in the Cup of His Majesty the King. In addition to the competitiveness of the race, Sheikh Nasser hailed the efforts of the races committee in showcasing the organization of the event, which is considered the most important Bahraini endurance race. His Highness hailed the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE in all fields and welcomed the participation of the Emirati riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the Crown Prince of Dubai attended the veterinary examination and met with a number of riders, wishing them success in the race. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the 120 km Endurance Cup of His Majesty the King for the public and the youth will be held tomorrow under the sponsorship of the GFH Financial Group at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. Elite riders from Bahrain and the UAE will take part in the event. The race will start at 7 a.m. and the veterinary examination was conducted according to the procedures of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation brief. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, as well as the Chairman of Brief and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his sons toured the race course. Then His Highness met with a number of riders, affirming that the race is an excellent opportunity for the riders to test and develop their skills. The special event area has been equipped with a number of recreational facilities. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized his representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to attend the final match in His Majesty the King's Football Cup between Muharraq and Al Najma Club. His Highness Sheikh Nasser crowned Al Najma winners of the cup after beating Al Muharraq Club in the final match that took place yesterday. He distributed the silver medals to Al Muharraq Club players. His Highness Sheikh Nasser took pride in attending the final match on behalf of His Majesty the King, welcoming the royal support for the sports and youth movement, which provides further impetus for bringing up more achievements to Bahrain. Sheikh Nasser congratulated Al Najma Club on winning and commended the team's outstanding performance. He also congratulated the club's chairman, Isa Al Ghattan, on this achievement. He praised the performance level of Al Muharraq Club throughout the championship, wishing them success 
in upcoming competitions. He also praised the attendees who supported the Muharraq and Al Najma teams. Sheikh Nasser congratulated the president of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the outstanding organization of the final match, also hailing all efforts exerted by all the concerned parties of the championship.
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the management of a Najma Sports and Cultural Club upon winning His Majesty the King's Football Cup in its 41st season, 2017-18, after winning the final match beating Al Muharraq team. His Highness hailed the high performance of both teams in the final match, which was attended by the deputy sponsor, His Majesty the King's representative for the Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that al Najma's team's victory was the result of their outstanding performance, adding that al Najma has previously won the King's Football Cup. Sheikh Khalid also praised the efforts of al Najma club's chairman, Isa al Ghattan, wishing the team further progress and success in upcoming championships. His Highness praised the efforts of the Bahrain Football Association headed by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa for organizing the championship and the large audience who attended the event. A visiting Saudi health delegation was in Bahrain yesterday where they conducted a series of high-level health figure and policymaker meetings in the name of further cementing ties between the two countries in the fields of health delivery and care. More details in this report with Mohammed Chaban. The Supreme Council of Health held a strategic meeting with the visiting Saudi Ministry of Health delegation on Thursday morning. The two sides discussed the latest development in health care and health service delivery. The Bahraini side gave a detailed presentation on the planned reforms as stipulated by the Bahrain National Health Plan 2016-2025, which was endorsed by Cabinet in December of 2016 with a focus on the planned health insurance program, Sahati. Actually, we are both working on the same uh, same system, which is uh, health insurance. And uh, actually, you know, uh, we are actually meeting together to exchange ideas, to exchange our systems, and compare our system. And actually, that's I think to uh, you know be reflected on the strength and the quality of the system we are planning. The Saudi delegation, on the other hand, praised the work Bahrain has been doing in improving the quality of health services in line with global universal health coverage directives. They also presented their insight on current health reforms in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, very pleased to be uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, we see huge potential of cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in, in many aspects. Uh, given that Bahrain is very close uh, uh, to Saudi Arabia, uh, we see... Uh, uh, the potential of uh, cooperation in terms of uh, understanding the systems of each country and the potential of uh, understanding the transformation program that is done uh, on both. Uh, we are learning from each other and also we see what kind of cooperations on, on many different aspects that we can do to make uh, the both systems uh, more efficient. The two sides agreed to cement ties and boost the exchange of expertise and the provision of sustainable and high-quality health services. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News.